Hey guys, this is one from Tanner's house. Watch this point closely and then let's get quickly through it. There are one, two things I want to talk about. All right, guys, let's get through it. So the serve and return, all right, return a little bit short, gets a deep ball back, aims us with a good deep ball, which gives him a short ball. And now my player does a good job, redirects that ball pretty good to my opponent's backhand. And this is the thing I try to teach my players. When you look at the opponent in this moment already, you know he's going to slice it and it's going to get the best thing he can do is get behind the ball and chip it with a slice back right there. You have to see that as a player and close in quick. So my player stands back, didn't run up. So he could have had this easy high volley at that moment right here, there, right? Or like kind of an overhead. And instead of that, he gets a short ball, which is all right. But then he goes too slowly forward up and hits that swing volley in the net. And why he hits that ball in the net is, as you can see, no lower body engagement, just kind of walking forward, and that doesn't work. Didn't go enough around the ball. And if you see that ball coming, you have to get a little bit more around it. He goes straight to that ball and can get under it and can hit it up. So um, you see your opponent stretched out, and especially he's 6'4", six, 6'5", six, so if he's so tall, you need to sprint up and try to catch that ball while it's right there and hit a volley. And, um, you know, he's lucky he got this short, easy ball. It could have been a higher ball and deeper, so a little bit harder to hit there, right? So keep that in mind when you play, and don't be sloppy with your swing while you need to quickly run up, move around the ball, and brush up on it.